Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to see how we can access map data through web and the mobile application. For that, first we need to update our software. After updating the software, we need to create a subdomain. For creating a subdomain, we need to go to File, click on Mobile Web Remote Access, and here we can create a subdomain. For example, my company name is Max Business Solutions, so I can have that Max, and then we need to save. So every company must have a unique subdomain. After saving this, we need to give the user role access. For that, we need to go to File, Users, Search, which user you want to give the access. Click on that and then Edit. Can access on mobile should be on tick. And here we need to reset a uh, strong password. For example, I'm giving it as admin at one two three. The password must con uh, contain one capital letter, uh, one number and uh, one special character and then we need to save. After saving this, we need to restart the application. After restarting the application, in the hidden icon, we can see a mobile connector app running. If it is in a blue, that means it's being connected with the web and mobile application and if it is in a grey, that means it's not being connected. Then either we can click on the web URL here or we can directly go to the Google Chrome and enter the web URL. After that I can see my two active books here, Max 2324 and another one is Max 2425. For example, I don't want Max 2324 to be shown in the web and the mobile application. So I can go back to my software, click on option, database set database mobile access and here we can click on max 2324 to mark it as inactive and then we can click on update after clicking on update we need to restart the application after restarting the application we need to refresh the page here after refreshing the page it is defaultly taking max 2425 book and if I have more than one book it will show the book name and the drop down So this is the dashboard here. We can see overall sales, purchases, income, expenses, cash balance, bank balance for today. If I want to see it weekly, I can just click on week. And if I want to customize date according to my preference, I can just click on custom and customize the date. And then we can click on proceed. After that, I can click on the menu here. Almost all the options accessible in the desktop are also available here. And this is how it is shown in the mobile application. Even here almost all the op options are available which are available in the desktop and the web. And if I want to install Max Connect app, we can go to Play Store for the Android users or we can go to App Store for the uh, Apple users. That's it for today's session guys. Stay tuned for more informative videos.